Hey everyone, it's John and I'm back again and I have not made a whole lot of progress on all of this stuff. In fact, if anything, I do believe that the death pile here has multiplied um, all underneath that table, around the back side of the table, over there now, all through here, all through here. But I wanted to show you guys something over here that is really cool. I ended up scoring these six pieces of Barbie clothing at an auction. I paid 150 bucks for them, and these are absolutely fantastic. These are worth a ton of money. Um, these two pieces right here, there are comps on worth point for both of those for over 350 bucks a piece. So between those two pieces right there, that is $700. These right here are about 100 bucks a piece. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, and that's a okay. My camera just went dead, so we're gonna jump right back into this. So I paid. $150 for all of this and it was over 1100 bucks. So that's pretty good. That's why I think that going to an auction is for me at least in my area way better than yard selling. That's why you don't see a whole lot of yard sale content because I can go to auctions and buy stuff like this and all of that. Look at all them hats. Look at all of this stuff here. Just mountains and mountains. Original Sony equipment in the boxes and VCRs in the boxes and camping stoves. It's, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for me to go out and chase it. And that's why you're watching this channel because it's something different. Everyone's going to yard sales, but I am going to auction. So if you like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so I'm here testing some of this ham radio stuff. And what I have here is a power supply and that's what you use to power this stuff right here. And what I want to do is to be able to test this and make sure that it works. Um, I don't understand how it works, but I know that at least if it turns on, I will be able to say that it works. So what I am going to do is, well, I'll be able to say it works. I don't know if it works fully, but I'll just say it turns on and everything else this guy owned was absolutely just awesome. So I'm not going to sit here and second guess myself. If you don't like what I'm doing, I'm sure you're going to tell me down in the comment section below. So I'm going to get back to work here. So what you do is you have to plug the red one into here and the black one into here. And there's a red and a black one. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've got that plugged in, you kind of have to set this. This is a voltage adjuster right here. So it's already set to 13.8 amps, but if you adjust it, you can adjust this to whatever voltage that you want. So I'm going to adjust it back up to the 13.8 that it's supposed to be at. And I'm going to turn it back off. And then this is what they call a, I think it's what, what I believe is called a, a Molex, Molex, Molex connector that plugs in right here to the back just like that so we can turn this around now and we should be <laughs> this is really incredibly hard to do with one hand um, now that we've got it turned around here i want to make sure that this is off it is off that's on off so we're going to turn this on that comes on and then now i'm going to reach over here i'm going to flip this on and it looks to me, the light comes up there. Um, I would, there we go. The receive comes in. I don't have an antenna hooked up to it, but you can adjust it. That looks good. I don't know exactly. There we go. That gets the numbers popping up there. Clear way to turn this down. There we go. The gain. There we go. Turn that down. Sounds like there might be a little, a little static in that gain switch. We'll turn it down so I'll note that. I'll also probably hit it with a little bit of my deoxid. But, so the numbers come up. That lights up. I don't really know how to operate one of these. I have no clue. So I'm going to turn that back off. I'm gonna turn that back off. And now I know that it at least lights up and that it should work. I know there's a little static in this knob. I might hit it with a little deoxid. I'm not sure if it'll if it'll pop off there too well to where I can get to it. 
I might just put that in the listing that there is some static in that knob uh, because again I don't want to mess around with it too much uh, because this is a $300 piece of equipment right here so um, I'm pretty happy with that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn everything back on I'll take my camera take some pictures with it everything lit up so people can see that it lights up and uh, I'll go from there so if it's it sells typically for about 300 bucks in this condition I might quick sell it at 250 so that people know that that's got a little static in it and uh, probably do 250 I pay shipping I paid 35 bucks for it at auction so I think I'll be okay with the money that I make what do you guys think let me know down below okay guys I'm still here at it at the store it's like 2 37 a.m. I'm hanging out with my buddy Shane the rising grand picker he's over there taking photos but I just found this in a box. It is a Rig Expert AA170. Um, it is an antenna analyzer. And this thing is like new. I don't even know if the dude ever really used it. It looks like it's almost brand new. It works. You can see that it turns on. I had no idea. Me and Shane were just sitting here talking. And I was like, look at this. I was like, I have no idea what this thing is worth. I said, but let's look it up. And we looked it up on eBay and we couldn't find anything. So we went over to Terapeak and we found several of these. One sold for $250, one is $195, $200, $315, and $150. So this one's in good enough shape that I'm probably, I'm going to rob these batteries out of it. And I'm going to put it all back in the box. I'm going to put it in a nice little, uh, nice little, my little drawer full of, um, bags over there. I'm going to put it in a bag, fix the presentation up, take some pictures of it, and I think I'm gonna list it for like 300 bucks or best offer. Um, I don't know. What would you guys list it for? Let me know down below. I don't think that that's out of the ballpark, um, but that's pretty cool. It's even got a little USB port on the bottom. I don't know what exactly you do with something like this, um, but hopefully somebody else does and they buy it and I make some money. This is, <laughs> that was a find that I was not expecting. That's crazy. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you a couple more items that I got here. This is a really nice Kenwood. Um, it's an MC50. It is a mic. It's just an absolute beautiful piece of work art. It's in great shape. It's not dented, dinged or anything. I absolutely love it. The comps on this is about $70 ship. There was one listed. And uh, this is an absolutely fantastic shape. And then another couple of items that I got here from that lot is the uh, general class 2015, 2019, and then 2016 to 2020, it's the extra class. This one sells for about 35 to 40, and this one sells for about 30. So that's not too bad. Um, I did have another... Uh, unit over here that i was going to buy it's kind of dark in here i'm sorry guys it's like three o'clock in the morning uh, i have this unit here that's a really nice expensive unit but i do not have a power cord for it it did not come with a power cord so i figured that i'm going to be way better off buying a power cord for that so that i can test it and at least make sure that it turns on so that the person who gets it will be happy um, i still have some more stuff to go through here I have that Kenwood uh, receiver unit that I got to test. Got a couple typewriters here. I'm going to get back to work over here, finish taking pictures. What I do is I take pictures over there, and then I put my items in these totes. This is stuff that I've already listed. Um, this is a piece here. I think yeah, I showed it to you earlier. Uh, this sells for like $50. Bucks. Um, here is an e-cartridge I pulled out of there that's going to sell for a little bit. Um, here is a bolo for anyone that's out there looking. Uh, if you're watching this video, I uh, bought this today for $6 at Walmart, and it sells for $30 bucks right now. So uh, this is a uh, Extreme 3D Pro. It's a flight joystick. It came from the same buy, and I'm not sure exactly what it sells for. I think it's like $50 or $60. And then I have that little vice right there, and that sells for about $30 bucks as well. I still need to get pictures of this camping stove. That's going to be my next item, so... I'm going to get back to work, get those things photographed, and we're going to jump into this camping stove so that we can uh, get it listed because it's brand new in the box. And I believe it sells for like $150 to $160. Okay, guys, this is the camping stove that I told you I was going to show you. It is an absolutely flawless shape, just about. There's a few minor 
abrasions to it but other than that it is gorgeous especially for something that's probably from like the 1970s i believe um, whenever i do go to ship it i will have to put some packing on the inside to pack all of this so nothing moves around in there it comes with the original camping book and uh, the boxes behind me over there on the floor um, i think this sells for about 125 maybe 150 but if you see these out in the wild and they're in good shape, be sure to pick them up. They can be a bear to ship, um, but they are made out of metal, so they will withstand a little bit more damage. Um, when you ship something like this, just make sure you pack it appropriately inside. Put a lot of uh, newspaper and stuff in there. And as always, make sure if you're buying these, make sure there is no fuel in the tank. If there is fuel in the tank, all you have to do is unscrew the knob right there and pour it into like a glass jar and clearly mark it it should be just camping fuel um, you can dispose of it uh, what i normally do with it is i use it to light a barbecue or use it to light uh, like if we are burning um, leaves or something i'll put it on there and i'll burn it that way we live in the country we live in missouri and that's the way us hillbillies take care of stuff okay guys do you know what's inside this little black box right here let me turn another light on uh, we can kind of see what's going on here. Um, do you know what's in here? If you do, let me know down below. I'm getting ready to open it. So you will see exactly what is in the box. Um, it is something that is old and we don't really use them anymore. So if you've already guessed, let me know. It is a projector. How about that? Kind of cool. These are one of my favorite kinds of projectors. Um, let me pull this thing out with one hand. These are absolutely awesome. This actually comes with two cables. Um, but these here, they are beautiful. Even if they do not work, there are a lot of people that will use these as, uh, like props in their movie room. Like say if you have a, um, room where you guys have set up your own home theater, people will buy these and they'll display them. But the thing that you always want to test on these is to make sure the light, the bulb works in it. Um, this is a, um, it's a Kodoscope 8 Model 70. So we will look that up and see what it sells for. I have no idea. I think I paid five bucks for it. So this comes with the original carrying case. It's got your pickup reel and it's got a couple of power cables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to plug it in, and we're going to see if it works together. Okay, so I think I've got it all plugged in here. The uh, power cord plugs right in underneath there. And I've got it plugged in down there, which you're not really supposed to do, but I've got it plugged into an extension cord. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around here, and if any light projects onto that box, we're doing pretty good. Uh, so we turn this, and the light comes on, but... Ooh, look at that. It's smoking. There's no fan or anything in there. Well, at least we know the light works. I am not sure how that operates, but there we go. There we go. Let's see what happens now. There we go. I guess I just didn't have that turn far enough over. And we are good to go. There's the light down there. The projector is running. Everything seems to be working good. The uh, this is the reel here that would you would put your movie on there. This would be your take up reel, and uh, it would go through here, and this will turn and do your take up. But it looks like it's not working that well. Let me go on and turn it off. So this one's probably going to need a little work. Um, smoking out of the top there this one here is probably going to need a little work but man it's in just absolutely great shape some people will buy them and they'll and they will rebuild them so i'm going to go on and list it i'm going to put that the light works but there might be an issue with the take up i'm not sure um i'm not an expert at these i've just sold several of them and this is probably one of my absolute favorite ones that i've sold this has got a great look to it such an industrial little piece of machinery uh, it did come with another cable here, but I'm guessing that this one here, if you see, it's all brittle and broke up. So I'm probably not going to ship this one with it because it's a fire hazard. And if someone buys it and doesn't really know that they shouldn't be using it, it could cause 
issues. So I'm going to take this and unfortunately we're going to pitch it. I did pull this out, which I'm going to keep for myself because I like it, but this was in the box here too. And it is an old Novin 2 wiring uh, extension cord, which I absolutely love. I think it's so cool, but I'm not going to include that with it either. Um, if they want to plug a different extension cord up to it, they can, but I'm going to keep this one because I like it. So let's go to the next item. Okay, guys. So I looked it up. Unfortunately, they don't sell for a whole lot. Uh, from what I've seen, they sell for about $20 plus shipping, uh, because they are bigger and bulkier. And normally the shipping on them seems to be between 25 and 30 bucks. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put like 35 bucks on it. I'm going to take it out there and stick it in the antique store. And whenever we open up, somebody will come in and hopefully they'll see it and they'll love it and they'll like it and they'll take it home with them. Um, I don't really want to list it on eBay and only make, you know, five, 10 bucks on it after shipping. And, uh, I think I would be better off just to put it in the store because it's got such a cool look to it. I'm definitely going to do that. So let me put it back in the case and we'll take it out to the front of the store. Okay guys, so I just put it out here <laughs> in the middle of the antique store, put it right out here on the floor and I put it for 35 bucks and hopefully somebody will come along and they will pick it up because it's really cool. I think it would look really great in somebody's TV room and somebody's uh, home theater. It would be pretty good. Uh, the store is coming along pretty good. Got kind of a mess up here. I have gotten both of my arcade units put together and um i did have trouble with the teenage mutant ninja turtle unit it actually will be getting the board i'll be getting it in probably monday between sometime in the morning and 9 p.m at night so once i get that i'm going to get that put in and uh, both these machines will be functional i will have them for sale inside the store I'll probably put like 500 on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I'll probably put 350 on the Marvel. Um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I'm not interested really in letting it go, but if somebody wants to come in and throw down 500 bones, they're going home with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, so I'm working on this clock right here, making sure that it works fine. It's a nice little a wooden Golden Oak uh, Coast Guard clock, but I found this, and this is pretty cool. It's natural popcorn, Uncle Ed's. And I'm kind of hungry. And I bought this at the auction the other day. It was in somebody's uh, drawer by their bedside. So I am going to try it out. It says uh, cover cob with butter. Place in bag. Microwave on high for two and a half to three minutes. And uh, we're going to see how well that works. I don't have any butter. But we're going to pop it irregardless. Or regardless. So there we go. I'm going to open it up. And we're going to put it in the microwave. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so that's the bag, and I guess we just drop the corn down in there. I don't know how in the world that you are going to fold this up so that it doesn't pop all out, but I don't know. I'm going to stick it in the microwave. Let's see how well this works out. It is like uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, so hmm, I'm up for anything at this point. Okay, let's put 3, 0, 0, start. Let's, so... We've got three minutes, and we're going to see how well this works. Let's time lapse this and see what we get. Oh, okay. Looks like the clock's working, so that's good. It was a little corroded, so I had to clean it out. And it looks like the popcorn has popped. Looky there. How weird is that? Ooh, that's a hot cob. Look at that. Look how weird that looks. That is freaking crazy looking. Look at that. <laughs> it didn't pop here at the ends, but that was still pretty cool. Now here's for, here's the million dollar question is, what does it taste like? What does it taste like? Tastes like pork, popcorn, a little salt on that. It'd be pretty darn good. No butter, that's pretty healthy, I guess. So, that's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm enjoying the popcorn. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, 
you guys have a good night or morning or whatever it is. Talk to you later. Bye.